To help us unpack uh, the latest uh, uh, action by the uh, DRC Armed Forces, uh, we're joined by African Affairs Analyst and Channel Africa producer Nixon Katembo. Uh, Nixon, thanks very much indeed for joining us. Always good to catch up with you, especially about what's happening in the DRC. Tell us what you know about this latest uh, initiative by the uh, DRC to try and deal with the Allied Democratic Forces. I think the initiative is a welcome development for the people of Eastern DRC, particularly those who have been facing um, the wrath of the ADF. Um, but there are very uh, several dynamics to the situation in the East. Um, uh, recently, what is happening is that the Ugandan and the Congolese army confirmed. Um, some of the rebel groups um, using uh, military conflict of the Ugandan army as to tarnish the image of the Ugandan army there uh, in its quest uh, for a joint operation with the Congolese army. So um, it, there are those dynamics that are happening. And of course, uh, you would recall that uh, Rwanda also wanted to send uh, police there uh, but uh, um, analysts uh, and those who have been closely watching uh, the war in the Eastern DRC, uh, this was resisted by the people of the DRC. Uh, however, um, it is difficult to really to uh, tell uh, what is going on there. On the other hand, in the South Kivu, uh, where um, the Burundian uh, military is said to have gotten uh, in uh, the South Kivu province, uh, also uh, following up the Red Tabara, uh, leading up also to uh, the arrest of um, uh, the second commander of the ADF, uh, uh, who was uh, captured uh, about three days ago in the town of Uvira, trying to cross to Burundi. So. The dynamics of the war um, and the, in the DRC, especially the instability, uh, not just about the ADF, but all other armed groups, uh, are very quite complex uh, in the sense that now it is uh, sucking in uh, again uh, those for neighboring armies uh, coming to the play in everyone trying to secure his own interest in Eastern DRC. All right. Now, the spokesperson for the uh, DRC uh, Armed Forces, uh, Captain Anthony uh, Mualushai, says that we are confident that we will defeat the Allied Democratic Forces. Is he being overly optimistic given just how long this insurgency has been from the ADF? I think he is being of, uh, overly optimistic, Peter, as he rightly said, in a sense that um, there are those within the Congolese army who are benefiting from the chaos there, where in a way that sometimes uh, money or, or logistics meant for soldiers on the ground do not arrive on the ground. Uh, by, by and it's so also you know embezzled by top commanders on the other hand. Then you have on the, the other aspect to that particular uh, war where um, you have uh, former rebel groups, uh, uh, especially from the RCD Goma, uh, CNDP of Lorangunda, and then the M23 uh, led by um, uh, Jean Marie Runiga and uh, and. Um, uh, the, uh, and the company, the likes of Bizima, uh, Bertrand Bissimwa, uh, integrating to the National Army, but also having a closer link with the Rwandan government. And uh, that complicates the matters in knowing exactly uh, who is playing what part. We know for the fact that the UN has produced a numerous report fingering uh, neighboring countries in a, in a, in a uh, playing part in the creation of um, um, militia groups to serve the interests and to guarantee the outflow of mineral resources out of the DRC. Uh, so while the army might be optimistic about fighting the ADF, 
uh, do have these other dynamics that are uh, coming to play when it comes to the war in Eastern DRC. Uh, and on the other hand, you have the regional uh, tussles, uh, as I mentioned earlier, on this very platform, you know, for the fact that Uganda and Rwanda are not seeing eye to eye diplomatically uh, uh, since the closure of the borders between the two countries, both Gatuna, um, Gajitumba, and Chanika, uh, uh, crossing to, uh, to, to Uganda or all vice versa from Uganda to Rwanda. So, uh, those uh, supremacy battle between Rwanda and Uganda are also coming to play and playing out in Eastern DRC. While on the other hand, in the far south, in the South Kivu province, uh, the Burundian also are wary of what is happening uh, with the uh, uh, support of Rwanda to the Red Kabara uh, uh, rebel groups that are trying to destabilize the regime in Bujumbura. So these are all dynamics that come into play, whether the, uh, the target is the ADF, but uh, if the army ignore these other aspects uh, that I have just mentioned, then uh, I don't think that there is a sense of optimism in, in, in completely eradicating uh, uh, the insecurity in the Eastern DRC, but um, majorly also uh, the role of mineral resources in, 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 in furthering uh, the security and the stability in Eastern DRC. Military uh, sources are reported to have said that they had arrested one of the founders of uh, the ADF on Tuesday. How significant might this be, or uh, is it not significant at all in that these forces, uh, even if their leaders are taken, will continue to do what they do? I think it's, it's, uh, the French would say it's a déjà vu. Uh, we have seen with the arrest of uh, Jamil Mukul, who was uh, arrested in Tanzania and is currently kept at the Luzira Maximum Prison in Kampala, uh, who was the overall commander of the uh, ADF. But nothing has deterred uh, uh, the, the ADF, uh, so-called, uh, to continue with their mayhem. But of course, owing to these other dynamics, uh, uh, different players within the region, different militias groups with different interests. Uh, that uh, always uh, let the war continue. We, we don't forget that they still the likes of the uh, NBC Renovain and the NBC uh, Split of it, and uh, the Mai Mai Mazembe, the Mai Mai Nyatura, all these other armed groups, including uh, uh, those who have a nationalistic approach and those who have uh, external influence, come into play when you talk about the issues of the DRC. Remind us again who the ADF are. Um, my understanding is that it's an Islamist group, and um, I just wonder, what is their desired outcome? Well, the ADF was founded uh, in the early 90s, and uh, its first attack was on a uh, primary school in Kichwamba, in western uh, Uganda, in, in the district called Kasese. Uh, they launched a second attack on 1990, uh, in 1996, uh, that is on the 26th of October, in an area called Buera. Uh, on uh, Nami barracks called the, uh, uh, Nyavutundu uh, on the border between the DRC and Uganda. And since then, uh, since the Ugandan uh, came in with the, the advent of uh, FDL rebellion, which uh, support, supported the Lauren Kabila to take over power, at the time, uh, uh, Kano Muhindo Mawa, who is now a major, uh, was a leading uh, role uh, and overall command of mountain brigade in best, uh, of the Ugandan army based in the western uh, uh, area of 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 of, 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 of uh, in the district of Kasese, bordering the DRC. These are the people who actually pursued the ADF under the command of the late uh, General James Kazini. 
but since then the ADF was scattered. Uh, some are said to have lived um, in town uh, with the, the blessings of, of, of the DRC government at the time, including uh, the, the former president, uh, Lord uh, Joseph Kabila, who is said to have been in friendship with Jamil Mukulu and otherwards, and uh, making sure that the stability continue in the East uh, for the sake of uh, uh, minting the natural resources of that country. So you have all the multi-layers uh, 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 dimension to the war in the DRC, but the ADF in itself, its original purpose was really to fight the regime in Kampala. And like any other rebel with the um, a territorial claim, uh, with the objectives of capturing the state, we haven't seen that with the current ADF. Instead, it has been about killing the Congolese civilian men in the territory of Beni, in the places like uh, Mtuanga, Lume, uh, in places like uh, um, uh, Kamango, on, on the slopes of mountain Ruenzori, really, and in places like uh, Karuruma, uh, all these villages. Uh, one wonder if it's an ADF, uh, uh, which is a rebel group that needs to go inside the Uganda and oppose to the Ugandan government. Why is it not taking uh, advances against the, the Ugandan army or even making an incursion in, in Uganda and for fighting there? But of course, if yeah. you have followed the military movement in, in the Great Lakes region, as I said, the fact that there were several rogue groups that have uh, mushroomed since 1996, so, uh, since the war uh, uh, that brought Kabila to power, and uh, that sucked in different foreign armies. You recall that Rwanda and Uganda fought in Kisangani in, in 1998. It has left uh, a serious security problem, but also... Uh, which has been exacerbated by the lack of the, uh, the Congolese institutional uh, 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 framework or the, in other words, the institutions of the state in functioning properly to making sure that the primary, primary priority of uh, the national army become uh, the protection of, uh, of, of the, the territorial integrity of the DRC and uh, protecting its people. And uh, this is because um, the army itself is not properly structured. Uh, it has been a conglomeration of different, different uh, militia groups and rebel groups uh, owing to the history of the war. And this has created a serious problem. And the, the only way to solve this, we need an institutional reform in the DRC, create a new national uh, uh, Republican army that seeks to serve the interests of, of, the, of the state, but also making sure that we, there is a purge within the army. Those who have been fingered by the UN uh, for... Uh, uh, dealing in a, in a, in a, in, a, in a, or, or violating human rights are uh, brought to book, and overly uh, making sure that uh, the Congolese state run in a way that should be run like any other uh, state in terms of its state institutions. Mon frère, merci beaucoup pour votre analyse. Thank you so much indeed. Always good to talk to you. À bientôt. Merci beaucoup. All right, that's uh, one of our regular contributors, uh, Nixon Katembo, talking to us about the latest initiative by the DRC uh, government forces to try and deal with the uh, allied democratic forces uh, to the east of the country.